Hey guys, so this is the book cover tag. I was tagged by Words of a Reader, who also made a really great video, so you should go watch hers. The first question is, what are my six favorite book covers? So the first one is this edition of Wuthering Heights. I really like the composition of the cover, how the image takes up most of the space, and this picture definitely really captures the mood of the story. The next one is this edition of One Day. I really like the kind of bold graphic design and these bright colors just really make it pop and I really love silhouettes. I really love this edition of Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. I love the typeface here and the really subtle colors as well as the vintage photograph. It's just all really well designed and brought together. Next is this collection of Emily Bronte's poems. I love the intricate little details. The graphic design on the spine is really great. And the design on the first couple pages I also just really like. The fifth book is Wildwood, which I've mentioned several times. It's illustrated by Carson Ellis and she has a blog post where she goes through the whole process of designing this, which is really fascinating, so I'll put a link below. I love how the title and their names are kind of really shiny and also pop out from the physical paper and add a kind of texture. And then you get the hint of the bright red of the actual book itself. So without the dust jacket, you just have bright red and a lone golden raven, which hints to what happens in the book. And then this simple spine is just really great. And of course, I have to include this edition of Jane Austen's seven novels. It's got the kind of embossing and gold inlay, gold page edges, just all of these flowery details, the kind of wallpapery design on the inside, as well as this title page. I just really love stuff like this. So the second question is about keeping series covers together. So often they will redesign covers before the series is even complete. So I personally like to have my covers match as well as I can. When I bought my own set of the Harry Potter books, I went to Powell's in Portland and just went through all of their copies and found the best matching set that I could. So I went with these paperback editions with the checkered spine and the first three all match and have shiny letters and then the checkered pattern has this kind of implied fabric texture, but the other ones I got don't have the fabric texture and the lettering isn't shiny, but it still matches close enough so I'm pretty happy with it. The next question is how important is the book cover? To me it's not all that important, but it is still pretty important. For example, if you go to Goodreads and look at all the giveaways, you can see a lot of really crappy covers and a lot of really well-designed covers. The cover can definitely push me away or intrigue me further, but I never rely on just the cover alone when I buy a book. The next question is what kind of book covers draw you in? I really like kind of graphic floral designs, like here on the corner of the name of the star or on Emily Bronte's poems. I like silhouettes, like Two Histories of England by Jane Austen and Charles Dickens, or again on One Day, covers that are very graphic with bright colors and sharp lines that really pop out. Catcher in the Rye, this cover is definitely very graphic. I love the line quality paired with the kind of more raw red paint. The colors are really simple and I really love the kind of vintage look of this, especially with the hand painted typography. The next question, what are your book cover pet peeves? I really stay away from books that have shirtless guys on the front or girls in prom dresses or people posed in front of some kind of wasteland. I really agree with Leslie and how she stays away from photographs of people on covers. They just feel really posed. One exception I have is this cover of Mrs. Dalloway. It's not a very posed picture and it just really is beautiful. And like I said, the whole cover just really flows together. The next question is, do you like short descriptions or long ones? 
I like enough of a basic description to tell me what it's about, what genre it is, but without revealing huge amounts of the plot. If I'm in a bookstore and there is no description on the back or the front flap, that really does bother me, because how am I supposed to know if I'm interested in it or not? But more often, I am hearing about books through the internet and on Goodreads, rather than just browsing through a store because I can't really afford to just browse lately. It's too much of a temptation. I have gotten a couple requests to show the illustrations in some of these books, so I am going to do that. So make sure to watch out for that video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.